everybody welcome back as you can see the uh, the biogas is still bubbling away nicely um, being bloody busy uh, in the greenhouse and with work and life in general but uh, as you can see here I'm, I've removed the compost pile I'm actually turning it into a garden bed I've got a uh, like tamarillo there and stuff that's gonna go in there in a white sapote that I can put in the ground so it has some more room to grow uh, tamarillos have big root systems and they're fast growing so in there it might be better for it anyway uh, so I bought a cubic meter gas bag um, if you've been following you know that I've uh, been using air mattresses and I did the volume calculations for it and I think it's about 670 liters that it can hold so the cubic meter one of course can hold 1000 liters uh, but I did not buy it from China. This is a different thousand litre bag. Um, so from Pushin or Tinwin, directly from the manufacturer, the estimated quote was about 116 US with postage. So that works out to be $150 Australian. Um, and of course I had a look on the, the, the biogas store and they're charging $150 for the same thing. That's US dollars, so that works out to be $205 Australian dollars. Um, so that's probably just the middleman. But um, so I've come up with something different. It was uh, listed on Facebook um, that I thought I could change and suit to my needs, and I did. And it only cost me $30 for the bag and then another six dollars for the required fittings. So let's go have a look at it. So here we've got our two air mattresses that are they're completely full now. Uh, I haven't used anything for you know a couple of days, so they're full. Um, they're just stacked on top of a sh little garden shed out the back in the greenhouse. But my thousand liter one is this. You can see it's quite big, um, and it's from a winery. It's a thousand litre wine bag, or a goon bag if you prefer. Um, so it works. There's these, uh, it was a two inch BSP fitting, and I've just put a reducer in and then a barb fitting into the 13 mil. Uh, so that's fine, and there's another one on the other side, another outlet, uh, smack bang in the middle the other side, depending on where you want to fill it up. but. This is the one I chose because it's where my gas is because I've moved everything outside so I can have some more room in the greenhouse to do greenhouse things. Um, I might put another biodigester tank in there when I can get another IBC. Um, I'm going to use uni seals and that so that's a different matter altogether. But this, I hooked it up this morning and you know it's, it's starting to bellow already. Um, I expect this one might take about two days to fill. Um, and I think I've done the calculations that a thousand or a cubic metre of biogas works out to be 38 megajoules of energy. And I've got a heater in there, but it's run on you know, the propane at the moment. Uh, if I convert that back, 38 megajoules high setting on that is 30 low settings 15 so in theory i could get you know between two and four hours out of this bag uh, which is not ideal because that i use a lot of gas for for heating the greenhouse um but these are 30 dollars six dollars for that that's a lot better than paying 200 or 150 and for the same job like these these bags, they're designed to stop oxygen getting into the wine, which means it can't get out as well. So it's got uh, four layers of protective material here and everything seems to be going fine. So when that's full, I'll check back in with you guys and we'll see how, you know, how big it actually gets, how tall and because at the moment, you know, it's, it looks quite big when it's flat, uh, like widespread, but we'll see how, how high it gets. 
But I just thought I'd share that. Of course, that might not be a viable option for everyone, but where I live, there's 100, 130 wineries or something within a 100 mile radius. So we're in wine country, so there's a bound to be bags and IBCs and things floating around. Uh, I was just lucky enough to do a quick search on the marketplace for Facebook uh, for IBCs and this came up. Uh, so and he's got a few more, so I'll probably end up buying a few more and then maybe look at compressing. No, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it'd be viable, but I've looked at a few fittings and stuff and uh, like gas tank filled connectors and stuff. They're like $100, $100 or something, but maybe maybe um, but this is just another option if you're you know looking for something to collect your gas bags in you can use the air mattresses or if you've got access to them you can buy them cheap enough um, yeah different option all right guys I'll check back in with you when it's full and we'll go from there have a good day